Well, the Red Sea is just a bit of a character, isn't it? I think it's the fact that you can watch both blockbuster films and independent films. I personally think that the staff, you know, everybody that works here is quite artistic and they all get involved. Um, it's a really nice job, everybody here are friends. You could just work here one day a week for the rest of your life, quite happily. Our main thing is diversity. Not just the films, we, sh we held a lot of festivals here. So we have strong links with the Human Rights Festival, the London Film Festival. I guess they tried to make it a bit more personable. Um, and try to tailor it to the needs of the customers a bit more. Um, they have a lot more events than a, a bigger, like say, Odeon or something would. People now, when they come and see a film, they expect high quality presentation. They're not, you, you know, they won't accept, you know, a shabby presentation of film, they won't accept scratches or muffled noises, which they would have done 10, 15 years ago. When cinemas first started, back in the mid 18th century, you used to have pretty similar to what you've got now, it used to be one projector. And you'd have one projectionist, and they would use your one screen cinema. The film would come in, they would load part of it onto the, onto the actual projector. They'd have to stay with the actual projector the whole time. When that first part of the film finished, they'd have a second projector, which they automatically switch on, so it linked up, and it could go about three, four, five times. And it hasn't changed much in the last 200 years. Until recently, with the new age of digital. So you've got this thing here, which is the new digital projector. This is a 2K digital projector. What happens now, it's actually downloaded by the internet into the main server, which is here. And it's all uh, encrypted, so it's practically impossible to break the code, so no one can actually break off the internet. Through this, you get a far sharper picture. The, the sound quality is far better. There's no scratches, no dust. It's a perfect picture all the time. You can play as often as you want, and you get the same quality film from the first one to the 100th show. So everything's got to be 110%, and digital gives you that. There's far less breakdowns, there's far less issues, there's far less problems. It's a far smoother running operation. The future of this cinema in particular is quite a massive overhaul, actually. They're going to turn this whole half of the building into a restaurant. Upstairs will become a live music venue, similar to the Brixton Academy, with the same kind of programming. They're trying to get rid of um, the box office, for example. They just want to have a big kiosk and um, have fewer staff working, you know. The biggest uh, task for independent filmmaker companies at the moment is to battle multiplexes now with, with the independent films and we can do that by making sure that we present it in a far far stronger way than they would in a far more enjoyable location than, than they have.